Hello everyone and welcome to Transformation Talk, the weekly news roundup for Tahawal Tech. At the top, Burj Khalifa has unveiled a new virtual reality experience which aims to simulate the scaling of the building's 160 inhabitable floors as well as a journey to the top of the building's spire. Mission 828 gives users the opportunity to experience a climb to the pinnacle of the tower as well as a parachute jump down into the Dubai fountain. Mission 828 can be experienced through VR pods on floors 125 and 124. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has launched the Mohammed bin Rashid Center for Future Research. The center will publish its findings to global academic and research organizations and will adopt an open model which involves participation among the international scientific community. Its first initiative will see the financing of a research team of over 3,000 scientists that will focus on areas including space science and technology in over 50 areas. Startups in the UAE are increasingly investing in cloud computing according to new research from the Dubai Silicon Oasis Authority. The Cloud Report 2017, which was commissioned in partnership with IBM and produced by Thomson Reuters, revealed that 70% of startups in Dubai currently use cloud, while 24% are purely cloud-based. The study also found that 76% of Dubai startups use software as a service, while platform as a service and infrastructure as a service offerings are each used by 32% of companies. 72% of all startups spend less than $50,000 each year on IT, while 24% of them spend more than 20% of their budget on cloud solutions. Four students from the American University of Sharjah have developed a system that they say can lower the rate of car accidents in the UAE. The device helps users detect the driving behavior of surrounding vehicles and notifies drivers of irregular driving activity within their selected radius. The device detects driving activity including tailgating, speeding, persistent braking and swerving. That's all for this week's edition of Transformation Talk. We look forward to seeing you next time.